day three in Rome. Off to the Vatican City. When it's this early in the morning, it's even more beautiful. Just a casual bridge in Rome. Huge statues. Good morning, Rome. How are you today? Are you guys ready for a spectacular sight? <gasps> wow. All right, no time to spend there, though. I gotta find the group in this long queue. Give me your money. Jumping out of the queue because I spotted coffee. <laughs> the best coffees in Italy? Yeah. <laughs> now the day can begin. All of history is written by the winners. They could be lying. So you're never gonna hear the story of the loser. It could all be a lie. My life could be a lie. What I said wasn't supposed to be a joke. All the things that we know is secondhand information and we should be very careful. So when we see Roman statues, they're always white, but this is actually what they would have looked like before the colors all faded. I love these angels. There's something kind of creepy about them. So in this room, there's an oculus on the ceiling, 12 statues of gods, and each month, the light from the ceiling would hit each god. Wow, guys, look at this incredible corridor. So much beautiful art. Each of these paintings represent different regions of Italy before Italy became a unified country. Into one of the most famous rooms of art on the planet. Wow. And that was probably the most incredible room I've seen in my life. Here we go. So we're here in St. Peter's Basilica. I was just walking past a tour guide and I heard I mentioned the Pope and I said to her, the Pope. And she says the Pope's gonna be here. Maybe I can get a shot of the Pope for you guys. So the Pope is coming it's four hours from now. So we won't see the Pope after all. Check out these guys here. Will he make eye contact? Can I get a little peek? Look at the focus. Yeah. There we go. I wonder if these guys are ever just looking at each other for hours and then one of them just goes... <laughs> I don't know how they do it. They must be the most zen people on the planet. The Vatican is technically a different country as well. So I'm just taking you guys to a different country. So Donna, what do you think about the um, place? <laughs> it was fantastic. Sad I didn't see the Pope. That brings us to lunchtime. Would you rather live the rest of your life in North America or in Italy? Oh god, that's so bad. North America. I'm really in Canada. How so? I love winter. Ah, uh, so you like it deep down. Yeah. Toronto or Rome? Rome. It's these earthy tones, yellows, that I love. Wow, it's busy here, it says on the menu. In order to properly manage the brick oven, the use of cell phones, it's for the reason. It would not be lunch in Italy without some glasses of wine. Wow, look at that. What an Italian meal we're having here. Cheers. Just had our dinner. Everyone's a bit tipsy. All right, cheers. Let's grab them. Let's grab them. Let's hear a British accent. Chicken and is pretty good food, isn't it, bro? Wow. Let's hear your Scottish accent. Let's go grab a pint and a glass of beer. Oh. All right, we're back at Piazza Navona. For gelato break. What's your favorite gelato here? Honey Only take gelato if it's in these silver pots because that's the real <laughs> gelato. I just found this map of the globe from the 1600s before they had satellites. Europe looks accurate. Africa is actually not too bad. When you come over to North America, it all gets strange. But even so, it is incredible that they could create such an accurate map. All right, do you guys remember that corridor I just showed you like 20 seconds ago? It's actually an optical illusion. What looks like a huge corridor is actually just a few meters. Even these green blocks, which look like hedges, are actually just painted bricks. All right, the lady's gone to show us. It's like a catwalk. <laughs> These dogs really want to be friends. It was love at first sight. Can you explain what happened for the vlog? <laughs> I fought for justice. Someone peed in the church. It's a huge problem that they have here. People pee in the church. She's like, strange things happen in the church. Yeah. <laughs> Italians love their football. The ball hit one of the girls. So, this little kid went, oh. <laughs> so Italian. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of these little vlogs I'm trying out. If you like this more casual vlog versus my documentary ones, I'll throw in more of them. <laughs> Pizzeria.